under the radar. Here we are, comicbookinvest.com. Ben C. is here with me. We got some awesome books. I'm excited. There should be some uh, great things to look at. Maybe some books you're, you've passed over in dollar bins and didn't realize that they might have $15, $20 value or maybe even more. So let's check this out. Let's dig into Under the Radar with comicbookinvest.com. All right, let's check out our first book here. Okay, so if this is... I don't know if you've dug into these must-haves. So sometimes some must-haves have jumped in value. This is one that I think is sort of under the radar for sure for right now. Um, the ones that if you look for must-haves, the you got the Miles Morales one. You have that's the one, two, and three for Ultimate Spider-Man comic, and then you also have the NYX uh, this, the reprint cover of uh, NYX three. Uh, those are the ones that are must-haves for sure. But this is it's called Hulk Red Hulk must have it's issues one, two, and three. So this is the first red Hulk. Um, cause he actually appears first in issue two, you get the shadow in issue one, but he's on the cover of issue one. And then you also get a bomb, which is where Rick Jones turns into a bomb all here in one, two, and three. And this comes out after issue four. So this is not that like far in the past. This just happens like it within the same strand. So I, I like this. This is an original cover too. So that that's a plus with this book. I didn't know this existed until I started digging in through these must-haves. Um, you ever pick up any of those, Ben? Man, I dig the the NYX one because it's an easy flip, but I like the pick here because this is just not going to be a common find, you know? I mean, people are going to find it, but this isn't going to flood the market all of a sudden. Yeah. So, especially a cover or less, I'll, I'll definitely be looking for this. All right, let's 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 see what you picked here for us. Ooh, I like this. <laughs> this book, I love this book. So this is the first appearance like Sinestro's daughter or granddaughter. I get it confused. I think it's Sinestro's daughter, but it's a ghost to begin with. Um, we know that, what, HBO Max is getting all that stuff, and I don't know. I can't, Maybe I'm a fool and I keep jumping down the wrong well, but I, I, I feel like at some point DC is going to give us something like the first Wonder Woman again. And if they can hit that on HBO max, Ooh. especially green lantern, man, that the, the, the universe there that just, it's so deep goes on. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. No, Hard I, to find. First appearance. When you, when you sent me this and we looked at this picture, I was like, damn, how is this, slip through how does how does how is this not falling into the Hughes range of when you're talking about those DC books because there's some great one for tens but I mean you got those two Hughes one this is gorgeous and this is Patrick Gleason who is the flavor of the year right now I mean he he's taken over from Momoko and but this isn't Webhead but man this is a great great cover and a one for ten yeah I like this pick what else you should like Chris is this video and you should also sub up to the channel before you get out of here. You want to look at uh, a bonus book, head over to comicbookinvest.com, and um, we'll see you next week. Yeah, guys. Thanks for watching.